All right, hold on, hold on. You're telling me in this update note, we have guilds coming out and we have a new code. Yes, we do. Here's a new code. It is 50 day thanks. So just put it in. I don't want to waste your time. So go ahead and use this code. It is for 500 essence stones and also five of the new event tickets. So there you go. Enjoy the code. And if you enjoy this code, make sure to support us on a Marble Supporter Program. When future codes do come out, I will be using your NID to send codes, not to everyone, that's impossible, but to as many people as I can. So you just comment this based on how it worked previously. If I have your NID, I should be able to send you codes unless they change it, unless I'm interpreting it wrong. But anyways, if you're supporting, you can just look it up with your NID and then send you the code using your member ID in the end game menu. So don't worry, just support us and everything will be fine. But yeah, let's go back to the... <laughs> I have a virus, I'm so sorry, I don't know what's going on. It's really acting up. But let's go over this post. I'm actually one of the first people to view it. Surprisingly, only 62 people opened up this notice and I'm one of the first. So let's go down. It looks like we have a surprise from the team as a token of their appreciation. We hope you'll enjoy it and look forward to continuing our communication, okay? We have a ooh preview of the guild system and various improvements mentioned in previous developer notes. Okay. Oh boy, you see here, guilds. I just want to remind everyone, I will be making my own guild and our Discord server will have multiple guilds in there as well. So do join our server. We will have guild recruitment and a guild sub channel. So make sure to join. You don't want to miss out on getting a good guild or joining mine, for example. So let's go down. The link for the Discord will of course be down below, so make sure to join. But wow, these images look very epic. I don't think they're from the anime, they're from the Hidden Chapter Guild, okay. This might be a Soul Leveling Arise exclusive, I'm not sure, but it looks awesome, so I'm very happy to see it. Besides him, what is this fraud doing here? Get him off this. Is there any way I can just delete this? You know, I want to see an edit with Wu. Jin Fraud just taking off the image here. Ugh, what a disappointment, you know? This image is cool. This one's just super lame. But anyways, that does kind of prompt me to make a guild name. Maybe Woo Haters. That's a good guild name. I'm gonna write that down. But as repeatedly emphasized in our previous developer notes, our team places great importance on the guild system. Okay. We have dedicated significant time to preparing the guild system to ensure it becomes a special feature for all hunters. Okay, the devs are cooking. Finally, it will be introduced to an update at the end of July. So we have a date. End of July is when guilds come out. Okay, so we know when to expect it. We're getting some gratitude. All right. Guild creation and joining will be possible across all servers. Yes. Oh, and guild names cannot be duplicated. That's interesting. So we need to make a unique guild name. Okay, I'll have to think of one. That's a tough one. Ooh, all right. Upon creating or joining a guild, you can access the guild lobby. The guild lobby can be customized with various themes, allowing you to develop a unique and special guild. Wow, I really like that. It's not just some generic guild. Everyone joins, making a name, and that's it. People join, complete their missions, etc. Super simple. You can grow by completing missions, of course together with your guild members, and there will be guild exclusive exchange shop and ranking system. Oh boy. So listen, if you're a top tier hunter, if you're mega giga super chad pay to win, contact me on discord. I'll invite you to my guild, no problem. So we'll see what that's about. We are also preparing to introduce a guild boss system in a future update where multiple, oh my gosh. This means co-op is coming, I think, right? We're multiple hunters. This can just mean our regular hunter runs, but I think this means that individuals across servers from our guild can join in. I hope so. Oh, I hope so. That'll be so fun. But continuing on, here we have an epic... Okay, as many of you eagerly anticipate this, we are excited to share a sneak peek of the upcoming guild raid content featuring a battle scene between Factna... Did I get that right? Fakna? I hope so. And Sung Junwoo, you can correct me if I'm saying it wrong. This looks epic. The animation is new there. Wow. This is sick. I really like it. And aside from that, we are getting some balance adjustments. Okay. Oh, these must be for weapons and runes, I'm assuming. Yeah. 
So some runes are being favored, some are not, despite even when they're legendary grain. Okay, so lots of adjustments and also potential buffs for Choi. Yes, I really hope Choi gets buffed. Also, Lim. Lim needs love. No one's using Lim. I think Dong So might see some use. I think he has good potential with his shield removal, overall damage, high core attack, etc. And also the biggest fraud in the game. He really needs like 20 buffs to even be relevant. So devs, just forget about him. We also have Yunhu and Emma and Silvermane Yunhu as well. Emma getting a buff makes sense. She's really good for breaking and mob control, but her damage is lacking, in my opinion. So interesting that they're changing that. And if we look at the chart here, they're looking to basically buff or quote unquote enhance the balance of these runes. So these skills and their given runes. Interesting to note. I'm surprised Dagger Toss doesn't have all the runes there, but it does make sense for something like Vertical Arts. Actually, I'm not sure about this one. Vertical Arts is already fairly decent. I'll have to look at it. Same with Multi Strike and Commander's Touch makes sense. Um, two of them don't really see use. I'll have to double check. We only really see uses with two of the runes here. So yeah, I think the devs know what they're doing, adjusting these specific runes, so that's good. And going down, yes, improvement for duplicate legendary runes and blessing stones, okay. Honestly, when it comes to blessing stones and runes, when we do get a duplicate, we can obviously take three and potentially upgrade it into one new rune or blessing stone, but the odds are so low, so we're basically wasting whatever we get. So now we can convert duplicate, oh, legendary. Okay, legendary runes or blessing stones into a random chest. What does that really mean, a random chest? By consuming 1,000 essence stones, so no idea what that means. It better be a good conversion. I only have one legendary rune, that's it. So this doesn't help me at all. Uh, and they better cook something up here properly because as it stands right now, it's impossible to really get a legendary rune or blessing stone. At least for me, it's impossible. I'm a dolphin. I spend a bit of money, so these are not easy to get. So this only affects, what, the top 0.01% of the players, so whatever. We also have an improvement on the summoning limit of Armory of Shadows. Okay. It looks like the original method was to consume mana. Yeah, that makes sense. But that could impact the fun of the game, which it would, for sure. Um, therefore, we're currently considering improvements to the system. Okay. What's this? Oh, boy. Hunter skin dies. Oh, I love the red one. This one looks nice. The virus is acting up over this one. That's for sure. Going down, we just have some die systems coming out. Nothing too crazy. They better not change stats. If they change stats, oof, the community is not going to like that one bit. But going back down, faction of the shield, skill level up. So if anyone hacks, they're getting banned. Basically what that says, an official live stream is coming. Ah, uh, yes. They do need more live streams and... You know, based on the last live stream we had, maybe just prep a little bit more in terms of the quality. There were a lot of issues with the audio. It made watching a little bit unbearable, but, you know, that was our, what, second stream? So, I'm sure the devs will figure that out. So, just please, you know, next time you stream, give it a second. Have the audio overlays all correct. Otherwise, there'll be an echo and it's hard to watch when there's an echo. Let me tell you that right now. And, oh, when it comes to the code... It only lasts for, what is that, six, uh, nine-ish days, so until July 3rd. Make sure you use it by then. Again, 500 Essence Stones, not too bad for just a developer note, I'll take that. Again, the code was 50, day thanks, if you skip the beginning of the video. I did include it there, so make sure you use it. Solid, solid value, enjoy very much. So if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you're excited for the guild system, let me know down below in the comments. And also, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And do not forget to support us. That way we get that number one spot. I feel like we're so close. We have to beat the first spot rank holder. So support us. I will be using this program to send out some code. So do stay tuned for that. This was Zaf signing out.